creating and using views. Let's see the creation of a view for the table products. Here, current product list is the name of the view. In the view, the product ID and product name columns are assigned from the product table where category ID is equal to 2. Now, execute this statement. Here, the view is created successfully. Once you have created a view, the view name will be stored in the Sys Objects, which is one of the system tables. If you want to see your created view name, here is a query. Select asterisk from Sys Objects, where X type equals V. Here in this query, Sys Objects is a system table. An X type is one of the columns of the Sys Objects table. V refers to the views. Execute this query, and the output looks like this. We can use a view to retrieve data and update data. A view can be used whenever a table could be used for retrieving data. If you made any changes in the view, it will be reflected in the corresponding table. Let's try to select a view using the SELECT statement. See this statement. Select asterisk from current product list. Let's execute the statement. You can see the records from the view. Finally, we can drop the view using the drop command. Here is the syntax for dropping a view. Drop view, view name. Here, drop view helps to delete the view. View name refers to the name of the view to be deleted. Let's drop the view using the drop command. Enter this statement and execute it. Drop view current product list. Here our view is deleted successfully. Don't forget, here we have deleted only the view and not the table. Now you're clear with the concept of a view. The view is acting as a duplicate table. So I advise all of you to write some queries and practice it.